Hey, welcome to a radio related video and today I will um, it's kind of a little introduction for those that are not really uh, into digital modes. Um, I was thinking that um, I could show you a little bit um, during the, pan, the coming weeks different digital modes and how you decode them and explain a little bit where to find these signals uh, also. Um, today I will um, talk about uh, BPSK31. Um, of all the digital modes this is one of the easy modes to actually get and decode on your radio. So first things first where do we have uh, BPSK31 signals? Well some of the great places to get these signals are um, the 10 meter band around 28070 15 meter band around 21070 you also have the 20 meter band and here we are a few signals and 40 meter band around 7.038 35, you see here 35, lots of strong signals, 35. Now listen closely to this signal. This is what BPSK31 sounds like. Second, you'll need to hook up your radio with a cable like this one. And you have to hook up your radio into the input of your computer. So here on my laptop, the audio input is on the right side, right here. So uh, the best is to buy a good shielded cable because your computer can generate noise inside of um, your radio if you're not careful. Um, BPSK31. I've uh, actually used a program called FLDG. FL, I'll just show you the icon right here, close up. Well, this is the software I'm using Fox Lima, Delta India, Gulf India, FLDG. 3.21.60, it's free of charge. If you put FLDG on Google, You'll find this software, you gotta install it and it's gotta get configured right to work. How do you know when you're configured right? Well, first of all, in BPK, BPSK31, you'll go into the op mode right here at the top left. You'll go into the PSK and then choose BPSK31 right there on the right side. Second of all, you see that USB? That means that your radio has to be set exactly in USB. So you see it here on my ICOM, USB. Finally, you have the waterfall right here at the bottom. And all the BPSK signals are the ones that make straight lines, these yellow lines here. These are all signals. So to start the coding, one of those signals, all you have to do is put your cursor over one of the signals and click. And you'll see the red bars that match the signal. As soon as you've done that, you should start decoding like I am right now. Here it goes. So this is pretty cool. I enjoy decoding BPSK31 uh, because it's one of those modes that even if you have lots of noise, so if the noise level is high at your location, it still works pretty well. It's a very, very amazing um, digital mode for amateur radio. Now, um, BPSK31 is very, um, I would say it's almost amateur radio exclusively. So uh, don't um, look for that in um, that type of signal around the uh, the bands, you know, the uh, utility bands. Um, it's not really used by anything else than uh, AM radio operators. 
So it's quite easy to decode as long as you've selected BPSK31. Now I'm using FLDG but there are a number of pieces of software out there that I'll have BPSK31 mode in them. Um, the only thing you'll have to find is uh, signals. So uh, depending on time of day, uh, I've noticed there's always BPSK31 somewhere. Uh, so if you're in the daytime, you can try the 10 meter band at 21.070. If you're, um, you can also try the 15 meter band. Very popular on the 15 and 20 meter band on the daytime and late uh, up to uh, mid evening uh, on 21.070 and 14.070. And uh, just you know, go around the bands. It's not you know fixed the signals are around that frequency and um, lots and lots of activity on the 40 meter band at the nighttime I've noticed here um, 7035 to 7040 are really 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 popular so uh, very easy to decode with uh, FLDG a uh, great little piece of free software to decode signals and um, All I have to do is, uh, you know, basically tune in. After a while, you get used to the sound of the BPSK signals. So here I'm decoding only one of the many signals. All the little bars there are signals that you have on the same around around the same frequency. So uh, if I recap, all you need to do, have the good frequencies. If you're not really sure or don't remember, just type uh, amateur radio BPSK31 frequencies in Google. You'll have uh, lots of websites talking about it. Um, just hook up your receiver with a shielded cable, the record out into your laptop input. Make sure that uh, the configuration of your computer, um, especially if you don't have any waterfall at the bottom, it stays dark. Uh, make sure that the uh, good sound card is selected. So uh, in the uh, configure at the top, you have sound card. Make sure that the uh, information there is the one you want. So uh, just click configure, sound card, and uh, make sure that the right settings are here for the uh, capture microphone and the uh, speakers if you ever have an out of the device and if everything's set right well you should see these little waterfalls there at the bottom and as soon as you click one you should simply start decoding like I am right now so I uh, hope it helps, hope it gives you uh, some uh, incentive to actually go and decode those digital signals. Uh, there's lots more to shortwave listening than just uh, program listening. It's a whole world out there and the more you do, the more you'll enjoy your hobby. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope it helped. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. And hey, if you like radio, click our subscribe button. Great, great channel if you enjoy radio. So uh, thanks for watching 73.